to my incredible lab here at Incrediworld. And today we have an amazing scientific experiment called Just Like Air, God is There. And so for this experiment, the supplies you are going to need is three balloons that are the same size, three rubber bands, and one ruler. Okay, so if you do not have these supplies, don't worry about it. You can just watch the experiment and maybe when you have the supplies, you can try it for yourself. But if you have these supplies at home, gather them so that we can begin. Now, let's look around and you see all the incredible stuff that God has created. Maybe you go look out the window and you see what is there. Because if you do, you can see many incredible things that God has made, like grass and flowers and birds, even the sun. Isn't it amazing? But did you know that there are some things that God has created that we cannot see? For instance, air. Let's take in a big breath. <gasps> You see, you cannot see air, can you? But do you believe it exists? I hope so. Even though we cannot see it, we can know air is there. How? Because air has properties that we can measure. We can use an experiment to measure these things with. For example, air takes up space and air has mass, which means you can weigh it. So let's do this experiment together to measure these properties of air. Step number one, take one of your balloons and blow it up. If you cannot blow up your own balloon, maybe you can ask somebody to help you. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Very good. Now, once your balloon is blew, once your balloon is blown up, you need to tie it. And again, have someone help you if you cannot do this yourself. See, I have a balloon. Isn't that fun? Okay, now that we have air in the balloon, we can see that air takes up space. Yes, that is what is inside the balloon. It's taking up space. Oh, very good. Now, do this. Hold out your hands with your palms up. Can you feel the weight of the air on your hands? I do not think so. But did you know that we can measure that air has weight? And we are going to do that right now. So what you need to do is actually have a second balloon blown up. You can blow up your second balloon. I already have one ready here, and they are blown up to the same size. Now, once you have your two balloons, you need two rubber bands. And I'm going to put the rubber band around the bottom of the balloon. You know the part that gets all wet when you blow it up? Yes, that's the part we're going to wrap and wrap and wrap with the rubber band. And once we have it wrapped and wrapped and wrapped, I'm going to put it on one side of the ruler, wrapping the rubber band around the ruler, just like that. And we will repeat the same process with the other balloon. Get the slobbery part and wrap and wrap and wrap. Okay, this is very fun, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so we wrap that around there and now we will attach it to the other side of the ruler. What we have created here is a balance scale. We will see which balloon weighs the most. If the yellow balloon weighs the most, it will go like this. If the orange balloon weighs the most, it will go like this. If they weigh the same, it will stay in the middle. So I'm going to put my finger under the middle of the balloon and you see that it balances, which means these two balloons weigh the same amount. Very cool. Now, let's try another part to this experiment. I am going to take off 
one balloon. And I have another balloon here, which is the same size balloon. However, I am not going to put any air in this balloon. But I'm going to take my rubber band and wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, just like we did before. And I'm going to attach it to our ruler, just like we did the balloon that had air in it. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I have two balloons still that are really the same size balloon. However, this one has air, this one does not have air. Now we will do our balance test again. If the yellow balloon weighs more, it will go like this. If the blue balloon weighs more, it will go like this. If they weigh the same, it will stay in the middle. Let's see what happens this time. Oh, can you see that? Yes, it's sliding off my finger. You know why? Because the yellow balloon weighs more than the blue balloon because there is air inside there. So we know that air has mass and we can actually weigh it. Now, these experiments help us to know that air exists, even though we cannot see it and even though we cannot feel it. But we know that air exists. Did you know that when we breathe in, we can also see that air exists? Do this, breathe in. <gasps> Did you know that when you breathe in, your lungs expand just like a balloon expands? So when you breathe in, you can see air expanding your lungs. Did you also know that the fact that I can talk and I can sing also, also shows that air exists? Would you like to sing with me? Let us sing together. Here we go. La, 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 la. You see, because I am singing, air is transmitting sound to your ears, yes. And also, air passes over our vocal cords and that allows us to make the sounds that we make when we talk and when we sing. So talking and hearing allows us to know that air exists. Now, think about this. Just like we cannot see air, we cannot see God. But just because we cannot see God, doesn't mean he doesn't exist. Some people believe that because they cannot see God, that he is not the one who created the universe. They would rather believe that we have evolved from a big pile of chemicals over millions of years. Of course, no one, no people, were around back then before time began. So how do evolutionists know that everything just exploded into a big bang and all this beautiful orderly world eventually came to be? The answer is, they don't know. They are guessing. They are putting their trust in a tiny little speck that caused a big bang. But they do not know where that speck came from. They do not know what that speck is made of, but they put their trust in a speck. Those of us who believe the Bible, however, we trust God, an incredible creator God, who was there when the world began, when the universe began. And he knows exactly what happened and he told us about it in the book of Genesis. So remember, just because we cannot see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Just like air, God is there, and God is an incredible creator of the universe.